Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new old school RuneScape Leagues video. Now, I haven't uploaded in two days. I had a little bit of time off for myself, but today's video is gonna be all about speedrunning Fire Cape and then also obtaining the Infernal Cape. And we're most likely going to do more Slayer, dive a little bit into Hydra, just do a bunch of PVMing, maybe some skilling as well, start working towards maxing and all of that in today's episode. So enjoy the video. Divine Restoration is now tier three, which is gonna be huge for I think in I don't know if I'll take it in Inferno I think it's gonna be good though and if we look at the fragments right now so this one is now maxed out this one almost maxed out thrall damage this one's gonna be crucial for all the speedrun tasks and then obviously all these ones finally maxed out thrall damage it is now going to do 300% damage and superior tracking is almost maxed as well I'm gonna go to the bank swap it around a bit and today I'm honestly just relaxing maxing out my fragments all right I spent pretty much an entire day AFK and got to 96 mining ended up maxing out almost all of my fragments but right now i'm gonna do a jad speedrun i have no idea what to expect originally i wanted to go in with thralls uh but then i wouldn't be able to run double tap and i think double tap is extremely important maybe there are some tweaks i could have done but these are the fragments i'm going in with saradom in defense armadillion decree divine restoration praying respects bottomless quiver unholy ranger and rogues jumpy farm whatever so basically i get knife edge fully done dracon's touch on two so i can heal a little bit without attacks double tap is maxed out and absolute unit is maxed out so i'm probably just gonna lower my hit points to about 30 and just gonna go through the waves as fast as i can i have a minute left i don't think i can do it unless i'm like somehow really fast 30 seconds yeah i don't know if i can do it 30 seconds maybe i can do it actually wait i did it nice I genuinely thought I wouldn't do it. A lot of information going on right now. Let's see. So I got 250 for doing it under 25 minutes. So I've done it. And I think I've done it with like five seconds to spare. <laughs> I think I just got so many points for that. So completely under 35, completely under 25. This time I don't need to sacrifice it. So, all right. Um, I could get a shit ton of points, but I think I'm just going to do some Slayer. Our next goal is to reach 95 Slayer. At 95 Slayer, we'll be able to do Hydra. With Hydra, we'll be able to bank 99 Prayer. And obviously my range gear is amazing to farm out hydra and also to farm out lance we will end up using the lance when it comes to chambers of xeric it's gonna be our best in slot item i definitely want to get to that point as fast as possible and obviously lastly i'm also working on my 99 defense at the same time so pretty much all of those things combined into one Ooh, missed battle staff from the superior and the base and the head this does the task it is look at that 350 there we go 93 slayer there it is 95 defense and uh, right on top of a superior as well just a dark totem top this time around and defeat 10 superior slayer creatures is also a task thanks for the head i don't even know if i'll ever use this but that's always a secondary option if i want to train my prayer i think that's number three make that four i wonder what kind of collection i can get going with this make that another one do i stop counting or do i keep counting well that's another one that is 94 slayer at this point i actually lost count but i mean if i eventually end up using tentacle whips maybe this will be good but yeah i'll never go through this many so we're just starting a collection and and another one. And that is another whip from a superior. Ooh, shield left half. Didn't expect to get that. Oh, there it is. We actually got something. An eternal gem. Yeah, there we go. 95 is the Slayer level. I'll obviously finish this task. I mean, why not, you know, since I'm already here. And might as well finish off my 99 defense while I'm at it as well. Hey, there it is. 99 defense. Another does battle staff. Not what we need, but we'll take it. 20 superiors defeated. And no crazy loot whatsoever, but we'll take it. Almost done with the task finally you guys know i'm slowly working on maxing so here's another level i spent you know a little bit of time crafting 41,000 steel darts so that's 90 smithing and obviously my fletching is lacking a little bit so no matter what i'm doing i'll just have these dart tips with me i'll have the feathers with me and i'll just be fletching i am procrastinating inferno as much as possible right now but there is 82 agility with a plus 8 boost we'll be able to do our dune course and obviously that is going to be a task and i think after that i really should just get myself to inferno we're looking at uh, 125 for that thank you very much i think this is going to be my setup for the inferno we have the four zamorak pieces for the accuracy when i need to free stuff and then we just have the range basically the full crystal for the damage and then if we look at the fragments we're rocking with the divine restoration basically my prayer is going to be restored passively i also have double tap an absolute unit and a dracon's touch so i will be healing my prayer will be going up by itself because of the divine restoration and uh, yeah this is how i'm gonna go in 
it shouldn't be too hard but i haven't done inferno in over a year so mm, let's see if we can do this all right well no turning back now let's just get right into it okay one jet down second jet down third jet down as well okay just zuck to go that was not too rough nice and i did it under 75 as well first try fun fact i ate one brew <laughs> that, that's it that's all i used uh, and one restore oh that was so fun actually i used to absolutely hate this place there it is 250 points for that as well oh man i'm so happy now i can work on finishing 99 slayer and finishing 99 prayer as well i felt really confident doing that which is weird obviously it's pretty easy with relics and whatnot and my gear especially but i always have fear of this place even after i've done the cape maybe like five six seven times i don't know it's the stress but we have it done very happy i think it's going to be hydra time now time for some hydras this should finish up uh, my prayer but also slayer but also i can get a dragon hunter lance if we get that drop i then just need to go to zami get myself a hasta and we'll then utilize that in chambers of xeric but i could also get a glove upgrade and the brimstone ring so lots of options let's just get right into it there we go just got one two five points and i should be getting a ton more points the more i do this for so yeah this is how i'm gonna do it thrall and just let it hit me because i kind of heal as i hit it anyways just getting a bunch of mastered combat tasks that i don't even know why i'm getting them for but i'll yeah Look, flame skipper. Oh yeah, just a bunch of skip tasks, basically. I wonder if this will also count as a task. I don't know if killing the alchemical Kydra did it. Yeah, you see, one to five for just killing one small one. We'll take it. Thank you. So now that Infernal Cape is out of the way, uh, when I'm actively playing, I'm probably gonna be finishing Slayer, doing Hydra, whatever. And when I'm passively playing, I'll probably work on Max. So the first thing I wanna do is to just continue skilling. Make sure I get as many 99s as I can as quickly as possible. So that's gonna be my next goal. First on the list, is going to be finishing 250 laps of any agility course i think i'm probably at about 100 right now maybe 150 with all the other courses combined and obviously rd is the shortest so i don't think i'll be here for too long i have finished my 250 laps when it comes to rd course and now i am becoming a monkey you may be wondering brother man why not ardun why are you a monkey there is so many tasks being a monkey so i might as well do this up until i'm 92 agility and at that point i go for for sepulchre speedruns and from there i finish off 99 agility just doing this simply because eventually i'll have to do so many of these laps i'm gonna start to absolutely hate this place okay so we are on lap 207 now so we've officially done over one tenth of the required laps and i kind of wanted to do it in like uh, waves so i don't do like 2000 at once but if i do one tenth every couple of days then i think 2000 goal is not even that undoable the thing that we can now do is we can transform this thing into a Karamja monkey and uh, if we wear it that is a task we're on 317 right now gonna finish this lap and it's time that we are also uh, 92 agility to do the sepulcher speed tasks it's been a very long time since i've done sepulcher but the last time i did it i was pretty fast so let's see if we can complete the speedrun tasks there 85 fletching there oh there we go that's a task what is it 50 pointer to just reach this stage cool right first one didn't go as smoothly as i'm used to i definitely need to go on resizable and look at this tetris of the floor i have going on for me right there yeah i don't know uh, <laughs> i have a lot of tile markers anyways can we get a ring straight away for a bunch of points no but we can get a ton of marks which is good and then i guess i just need to leave and that should also be a task i believe i got a couple i got a floor five and in under eight minutes obviously there's one to do it in under 6 30 i think so that's where we're gonna be going for we got some hallowed marks some rune bolts quite a lot of those let's see what was the time my math doesn't quite work 623 Two tries is all it took to complete an elite run for the Sepulchre. I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's pretty much it. I mean, I could keep running it, or I could be happy with the points and move on to something else. I feel like I will run it in the future, because obviously I'll finish off 99 agility. I'll finish off buying all the stuff here, because I think that's a task as well. I think, I'm not sure. Um, if not, I'll just be a monkey and do 99 agility with a monkey. But happy to have that done. We're going back to Hydra now. Hey, 25 mil range XP. Mid Hydra kill can I also get a speedrun at the same time? I didn't hit twice, otherwise I could have gotten 120 at the same time. Maybe we get a drop though? Nope. Just 25 million range XP. 25 alchemical hydra kills. 1 to 5 points. That's a lot of points for how easy that is to do. Nice. Think that gives me a level? Yes sir, 97. I just got invited to do some TOB, so I'm not gonna pass on that opportunity. Let's go ahead and see if we still got it. 2 down. We'll take it. 
That was so fun and fast. Damn. Okay, let's see what tasks we got done. 125, a bunch of Grandmaster Master Task, 220 points for that. No, was it 500? Wait, 500 points? I just got 500 points in like 10 minutes. All right, all right, we'll take it. And now purple on top of that, and we are, we're looking good, man. 250 for completing it in under 16 minutes as well. Damn, so many little pop-ups on the screen right now. And we will bang that. Oh, 20 Master Combat Achievements. Uh, can you dance? I guess I never got hit by the thing. I don't know. I'm getting a bunch of points. I don't even know where from. New PB as well. 15 minutes. Any purples? Wait. Ooh, we got a purple. Who is it? What is it? Best of luck, buddy. Scythe get. Good luck, good luck, good luck. A Verning Defender. Do you have it? He already has it. Rip. Not bad. Good luck, fellas. Back to back. Let's see. Come on. Wait, another purple. But it's not mine again. Back to back purples. Good luck, buddy. Now Scythe. No way you get two, man. <laughs> Back to back of Vernix, oh Megalul. Okay, what do we get? Uh, Vials of Blood, some Runor, nice, not bad, honestly. Oh, it's big. No purple in this one. <laughs> Never lucky, always unfortunate. Nice amount of loot, though. I'll take it. Yeah, I'm so sorry, <laughs> I just killed the guy accidentally, man. <laughs> wait, wait, did I steal MVP successfully? I didn't, sad. No purple in this one, my bad, my bad. Yeah, I PK'd the wrong guy, I got an elite, though, we'll take it. Not bad. That was the last one we were gonna do. We did five chests, zero deaths, no purples. Let's move on to something else. I'm missing just Druid and Mixologist. Like, it's, it's such a disaster. Okay, we're gonna clean one at a time. Till we hopefully get uh, a relic. That should be the speedrun done, I think. The 120 one. Yeah, exactly 120. Wait, do I need to do it below 120 for it to work? Surely, surely not, right? <laughs> I need to do it one below. That's unlucky. Yeah, 114. There we go. Another Grandmaster task done. Oh, there we go. Finally, the very first Hydra drop, Hydra's Eye. Gotta get two more and I can make a ring, I believe, from that. So we'll take it. Wait, Hydra's Fang. What is that? Is that a second piece of the ring? Yeah, with a heart and an eye. Nice. Okay, so second piece of the ring. We take those. That's good. One more drop in that and uh, we're good. Hey, there we go. Big 50. More points. We'll take it. Brimiki, I got debated. I thought that was something good. Really stacking up on these D bones though. That's really good. Working overtime. I don't know what that task is, but we'll take it. More D bones. 60 of them. Holy moly. Dragon battle legs. Roar. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, man. And there is 97 Slayer already. Two levels to go. Getting about 800k XP an hour here. That is a first real unique. 800. 800 Dragon Throne Axes. That is a lot of Dragon Throne Axes. And that is 75 Alchemical Hydras done. Obviously, I don't want to spend my entire day here, so this is where I'm gonna jump off. Also, I have been using a lot of charges on my bow, so I have been really considering going back to thieving and just hope I thieve a bunch of seeds in order to make this permanent. I think that would be a nice way to go forward. It's gonna take me a lot of time, though, but I do need to get 25 thieving at some point anyway, so let's just go ahead, thieve for a bit, hopefully get a little lucky as well. This is once again where I'm going to be for a while now and this time I have a thieving cape which also gives me extra chance of not being caught and obviously I do need to get 25 mil thieving XP anyway so this is basically gonna be the place where I'm gonna do it. I don't need to thieve any other thing really. I got the blood shards done. I got the crystal seed done. There are some tasks where I would need to do pyramid plunder for but I'm really really hoping I would get lucky with the enhanced crystal teleport seeds so I think I'll need to get it four times so basically same as if I were to get it once in the main game think about it that way So yeah, I'll be thieving here for a while This is pretty much how I'm gonna spend the rest of my evening just thieving here up until 25 million thieving I'm on 16.5 at the moment So I've already done 3.5 million thieving XP with no teleport crystals now I'm only on 173 shards and obviously I really need to get this to 2000 to keep my both upgraded So I hope I get a bit lucky when I'm thieving and I'll do that to 25 mil and if I don't uh, not a problem I'll just go back into corrupted for a little bit get more shards maybe get more drops and then sacrifice whatever seed I get in order to obtain more crystal shards um, obviously I might not do it all in one go but for now for this evening I just really want to spend it thieving because it's kind of chill it's kind of relaxing this is what I want to do but as always thank you very much for watching my video if you made it this far and if you want to give me a like I will heavily appreciate if you check that you're subscribed and if you're not also subscribed that would also mean a lot to me and as always thank you very much for watching I'll see you again very soon with another one and until then have a beautiful day
Bye-bye.